Thanks for watching this video about secondary hyperparathyroidism and its impact on kidney disease. This is Robert Galarowitz from HealthyKidneyInc.com and feel free to check out our website and our YouTube channel about a lot of good things that you can do to help your kidney disease. Now I'm referencing a study from the Clinical Kidney Journal that's in January 20th, 2021, and it was a big study. They looked at chronic kidney disease from stages one to five, and they looked at how many people developed secondary hyperparathyroidism, which is something that's common in CKD. So they had about 2,500 people in the study, it looks like about 750 or so, uh, developed this secondary hyperparathyroidism. And the parathyroid is four glands, okay, in the neck, and they secrete a hormone that helps regulate your calcium balance in your body. And this is very important because if you don't have proper calcium balance, a lot of things can go wrong. And it's something that everybody should be checked. But what they found in this study was that people that develop that secondary hyperparathyroidism, so that's a high parathyroid hormone circulating, they had a worse survival, so more people died. There was a five-fold increase in CKD progression. So that's big. That's a, that's a lot faster people's kidney disease progressed than it, than it needed to be if that was controlled. They found more cardiovascular events, so more heart disease, more fractures, along with other um, things that are just not good, not good for your health. So the way I want you to interpret this is what you want to do is make sure you're getting your uh, parathyroid checked. Okay, you, you have to ask your medical doctor and nephrologist. It's going to be the PTH hormone. They're going to check on blood work. Um, I still find today a lot of people, even in the later stages of kidney disease, just never have this checked and they never have it looked at. And the, the good thing is that if it does come back high, there's a lot of things that we can do to control it. And it's controlled very well and very successfully. So you can look at uh, my other videos that we have here about D3 and D2 and the parathyroid and the impact that it has. There's also a medication called calcitriol, which is a good option. It's a more active form of D3 and uh, that can be something that's used to help control it. But the point is, is that you wanna get tested, and if so, you wanna start looking at these options to control it because it is one of those areas that if not controlled or even looked at and controlled, it's gonna progress the kidney disease much faster, and it's so easy to control this, it's not difficult. The problem is I find a very large percentage of people just aren't getting tested for it. So make sure you have your doctor test it, ask them whoever it is. Any nephrologist or kidney doctor should not have an issue testing this. And you see what your level's at and where to go from there. Because with kidney disease, there's so many factors, so many areas to address to really get an optimal, a good outcome. And this is just one of them that's not widely looked at by everyone. So take this information, hopefully you can use it for yourself. Thank you for watching everyone. This is Robert Galarowitz from HealthyKidneyInc.com. Bye.